In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Happy Easter, everybody. We gather on this second Sunday of Easter, or Divine Mercy Sunday. We know that we need God's divine mercy to help us and to uh, take care of our needs as we are weak, as we need God more than anything in our lives. So we are grateful for the gift of the resurrection because without the resurrection we wouldn't have the faith that we have today, but we also ask God for his mercy to be in our lives and to reach us wherever we are. Now sometimes we are weak and sometimes we are not as kind or charitable or compassionate as we want to be. So let us acknowledge any time that we may have failed to be so. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray, and as we do so, we pray for the intentions of the people in the parish, but we pray especially for uh, Diane Russell, who she died yesterday after battling cancer. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now, I will invite you to follow the readings, either in your missal or from the internet or from that little magazine that uh, has the monthly, come out monthly and then has the daily readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole community remained faithful to the teaching of the Apostles, to the brotherhood, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. The many miracles and signs worked through the Apostles and made a, different, a deep impression in everyone. The faithful all lived together and owned everything in common. They sold their goods and possession and share out the proceeds amongst themselves, according to what each one needed. They went as a body to the temple every day, but met in their houses 
for the breaking of the bread. They shared their food gladly and generously. They praised God and were looked up by everyone. Day by day, the Lord added to their community those destined to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the song we say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I was thrust, thrust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my Savior. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons, by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoiled or soiled and never fade away, because it has been kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which had been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is a cause of great joy for you, even though you may for a short time have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold, which is corruptible, and even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and honor and glory. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still without seeing him, you have already filled with joy so gloriously that he cannot be described. Because you believe, and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward to, that is, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We prepare for the gospel. Alleluia. you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples, the disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For, who, for those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. 
Thomas, called the twin, was one of the twelve, and he was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, Put your finger here, look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. That's what Jesus wants for us. He wants us to have peace. He wants us to have calmness. He wants us to have a good life in his love, in his mercy, in his uh, companionship. He wants us to be with him in the aftermath of all the suffering. Because Jesus, as being an incarnate, the incarnate God, wanted to have a human experience. And having a human experience, it means going through pain. We are thirsty, we are hungry, we don't feel well sometimes, we feel low, we feel depressed, we feel neglected, we feel alone. And all those feelings, all those experiences, Jesus went through. And actually, he went through betrayal and, and torture and extreme suffering and excruciating pain. So he has experienced sometimes more than most of us have suffered in this world. But he still wants us to have peace. And we have to believe in this peace. Because if we don't believe in his divine mercy, if we don't believe in his peace, so it will not be able to reach us. Because as we can see, even though we may be behind closed doors, like the disciples were behind closed doors, he will still come through those closed doors. And not just the physical closed doors, but the closed doors of our heart. So Jesus, no matter where we are, no matter how we enclose, especially during this time of crisis, he will still come to those doors and he will bring us his divine mercy, his divine love, and especially his divine peace. But it is up to us not to be like Thomas, but to actually just reply my Lord and my God. And I know it's been very difficult sometimes, or most of this time, that we are not able to receive Jesus sacramentally. You know, we want to be in the churches. We want you to be in the churches, but we have to be responsible. We have to be sensible. We have to help out those who are in the NHS and in the government and etc. And we have to help and protect each other, especially the most vulnerable. So we want to be here, but we are not able, and we feel sad, and we feel lonely, and we feel separated, because we are community. And thank God for this media nowadays, in, in our times, that we can somehow put, you know, get together as a community. But yes, we miss all this of being here in the churches. But 
as Jesus proved to the disciples, no matter that we cannot receive it sacramentally, we can receive it in spiritual communion because he will go wherever we are because as we know and as I have mentioned before, God does not care about distances. God does not care about closed doors. God does not has no limits. God has no boundaries. He will reach us with his mercy, with his love, with his peace, with his compassion. But it is up to us to just be humble, not like Thomas a second time, although we have the choice and, the, uh, and still the ability to be humble. But from the very beginning, let's be those people that believe even though we have not seen, because that way we are happy. We are because we are loved. So let us pray. Let us pray that this peace of the Lord, let us pray that this divine mercy of the Lord come to us, wherever we are, wherever we may be, in whatever building or house or community or family we may be, that the Lord may break through to our through our physical doors, but especially through our spiritual doors. So we may be able to just, in all humility, respond to him, my Lord and my God. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's take a moment to pray for our members of our community. Let us take a moment to pray for ourselves. Let us take a moment to pray for those who are alone. Let us take a moment to pray for those who are dying. Let us pray, take a moment to pray for those who are sick. Let us pray for those who are in the front lines trying to help those who are fallen sick to this terrible virus and let us pray for those who are dying or have died of this terrible virus. We also pray for our sister uh, Diane Russell who died yesterday that the Lord may take her to heaven and especially for her family and all the friends and all those who knew her. Lord, in your mercy, hear this and the prayers in our hearts. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The whole spirit of God, I have been accepted by your Lord, you will sacrifice that which is be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may obtain unending heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and always. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. To him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts you in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise, we give you praise, Father Most Holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You form man and women in your own image, and entrust the whole world to their care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, they may have dominion over all creatures, and when through disobedience they have lost your friendship, you do not abandon them to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and time again you offered them covenants, and to the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father Most Holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be your Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our own human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom and to the sorrowful of heart, joy, to accomplish your plan. He gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, 
he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe in you, so that bringing to perfection his work into the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come, for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will give it up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead, and proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand, and as we await for coming, as we await his coming in glory. We offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice, the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gather into the body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ, to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you today, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, especially Diane Russell, and all who are and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant a merciful Father, that we may enter into our heavenly inheritance with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with your blessed apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, at the Savior's command, let us raise our hands towards heaven as we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, such your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. So, peace be with you, peace be with you, peace to everybody. And we all say, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In the name of the body, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lamb of God, and the Lamb of Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can say for eternal life. Amen. Now, we may not be able to make a physical sacramental communion, but as we heard from the Gospel, God will go through any closed doors, and no matter where we are, He will reach us, because God has no boundaries, God has no limits, and God does not care about any distances or any closed doors. So we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come to me at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds, in our hearts, and in our bodies. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you once again in the name of Father Daniel and myself for allowing us to come to this media, into your homes. We have the YouTube channel, and we have the Zoom virtual mass so we are going to keep on going until we are all gathered once again in the house of the Lord. But do not feel faint as the gospel is very clear. The Lord will come to us. The Lord will be in our homes. The Lord will be in our sacred spaces. He will go through any closed doors, no matter where we are. We pray for those who have died, those who are dying, and those who we know are vulnerable, or those who are alone at this time. We pray that we may be able to reach them somehow. I'm talking about reaching. We have a fully stocked, um, how do you call it, food bag. So if you know of anybody that needs food to be delivered to their home, so please let us know. We have the WhatsApp uh, group, so ask for the number, or you can go to the website and you will find the number there, so you can, you can uh, keep informed. And just let us know if you need anything, because we are here to be of service in whatever we can do according to our ability. So any food, medicine, companionship, uh, uh, conversation, anything, just let us know. Emails and phone numbers are still open as well, so just let us know how we can be of service during this time. And please, like Peter said in his letter, just take care of each other in the community. Okay, we cannot sell everything, but you know, we can help each other in what we can. Okay? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth or stay home. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.